Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd go over Wedge Face, which is under Edit Mesh, Wedge Face, right here. So first I'll create a polygon object. We'll do a cube, since that's easy to see. So the way Wedge Face works, unlike most commands that are dealing with the components of, an, of a polygon object, under Edit Mesh Menu, for example, let me just break this off. Whenever you poke face, for example, you're selecting a face and applying the poke to it. When you are uh, extruding a face, you're usually selecting faces and hit extrude. For wedge face, though, you select two different components. You're going to select a face and an edge at the same time, which is very easy to do. Just have to know what order to do things and how to press the buttons. So we'll just right click on my cube and we'll select, and you can do this in, in either order, faces or edges first. I'll just select face first. And I'll click this face and it highlights orange, indicating it's selected. And now with it still selected, still in component mode, I'm right clicking again and selecting edges. So now I've changed from face selection to edge selection, but my face is still selected. Okay. So when I mouse over these edges, you see them highlight red indicating that I can select one. Now, I'm, if I just click an edge now, it'll select the edge and deselect the face. So what you have to do, we'll go back to face selection, click this face again, right click, go to edge selection, hold down the shift key and click an edge. Now the edge that you choose will be the pivot point of the wedge and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'll just select this edge here. So now, it might be hard to see in the video, but the face is highlighted orange, and this edge is also highlighted orange, or peach, I guess, indicating that it's selected. So I have a face and an edge selected. Now that edge, like I said, is the pivot of the wedge that will be performed. So with these two components selected, I'm going to edit mesh, wedge face. You see what it did was it took this face and kind of extruded up and around in a 90 degree arc using that selected edge as the pivot. If I undo that and select a different edge, like this one, edit mesh, wedge face, it pivots this way. You can see these pie shapes all pointing down to that selected edge I had. And that's essentially wedge face. So you can see how this might be handy for creating, oh, for example, a ductwork system of air ducts in a building or pipes that have like a bend to them or anything like that. If you're creating like a frame to a piece of furniture or a car or anything like that, you can, or like a, a doom buggy, you know, that kind of piping metal frame of, of a object. This is a quick and easy way of creating one of those types of structures. Over here in the channel box, you can see my inputs. Poly wedge face one, that's for our wedge. And we have two options over here. Wedge angle, which by default is 90 degrees, and divisions. Wedge angle, if I select it and middle click and drag, you can see I can kind of accordion out my uh, wedge. Have it, you can have it go all the way to 360 and beyond, apparently. Although, it kind of breaks the shape. And then you have divisions, which changes how smooth this surface is by increasing that. Undo. I'll just create it just as I pretty much gone over essentially the end of wedge face. But I'm going to show you using a different shape, polygon cylinder. And I'll make the caps, subdivision caps, zero and get rid of all those edges there. So I'll select this face. I'll just go over again. Right click, select face. Select the face you want to wedge. Right click, go to edge selection, hold down shift and select the edge you want 
to wedge along. Like so. Make sure you don't have other edges selected. Edit mesh, wedge face. So now this is with a uh, cylinder, so you get more of that piping look, like I was mentioning. I'll change the angle. So then I can select this face and go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and just extrude that out and create this bend in a pipe, for example. So hopefully you can see the application for such a thing. Uh, this has been the Maya Tool Belt. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, please feel free. I uh, hope you liked the video and I'll talk to you later.